Okay. How many goddamn top 10 asses in video games lists are there on the internet? Too many. There's a ludicrous amount of them, and they're all very clickbaity and tailored to a bunch of perverted nerds that just... <laughs> want to get a hard on. I say forget that. It's time we appreciate the real top 10 asses in video games. The asses that actually help. The asses that make us laugh. The asses that actually add game mechanics. The asses that make us feel more emotion than just... You know what I'm saying? So I'm Nitro Rat, and here's the real top 10 asses in video games. Let's go. We're starting off with an ass that's not even on a person, but instead, a bird. A bird that fits in your backpack, and Banjo-Tooie-Kazooie's ass is something to be feared. This birdie butt packs a powerful punch as the egg she lays, or farts out as implied by the new sound effects, will bounce and hop along behind Banjo and attack any enemy that made the fatally poor decision of sneaking up on these two. Oh, and you think it stops there? We're just getting started. Due to the variety in egg types, Kazooie can spew out just about any kind of element out of her ass. Fire, ice, grenades. This bird craps grenades. I guess Banjo-Tooie really brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, Bob's away! <laughs> Imagine sneaking up on a guy just to have him shit out a grenade that instantly ends your life. What do you do when you've been swallowed by a giant dinosaur? Well, as much as you hate to admit it, there's only gonna be one way out. Everyone thinks we should leave through the butt. Now, this kind of gag has been used in a lot of games and shows, but... I gotta give the trophy to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time for that side-on extreme wide shot of them descending from Yub's ass. <laughs> This shot just captures so much of the crude personality in the Mario and Luigi games. It really makes me wonder if people that grew up with Mario in the 80s and 90s ever could have imagined they'd see a giant purple dinosaur crap them out. Sometimes you're gonna need some heavy duty equipment to get the job done. Or in this case, some heavy duty ass. Paige from Beyond Good and Evil is a large fat pig, and he's got a large fat ass. With this ass, he's able to butt stomp the ground, causing a tremor so strong that it'll fling any enemies on the field up into the air, giving Jade a chance to whack him away. Paige can also fling Jade herself up into the air as well, allowing her to reach high ledges. Now, since this ass is so heavy, it's not very easy for him to get it up into the air. To address this issue, Paige had to come up with his very own invention. The Jet Boots! And if you're wondering what exactly powers these jet boots, they run on homemade biocarbon. Here's the pocket of pressurized methane. His ass. Number seven. Yoshi does a lot of things. Eat stuff, ride stuff, fight stuff. You might even say that he's a jack of all trades. One might also say that he's got a jack ass of all trades. Yoshi's butt, like Kazooie, is capable of producing small eggs that he can then use as ammunition to attack his enemies with. What makes his ass quite a bit better than Kazooie's though is that the abuse it goes through in order to achieve this. Have you seen the size of some of these eggs? The size that his rectum must expand in order to produce one of these must be detrimental. But no, it doesn't phase him whatsoever. Why? Because Yoshi has one of the most durable asses in all of video games. Ever wonder how he's able to do that so much and so often without even putting so much as a dent in his spine? Answer's quite simple. It's the butt. Number six. Pikmin's a game where you really gotta take advantage of an enemy's weakness in order to take them out without, you know, losing half of your army. Sometimes you'll need yellow Pikmin to fling them up into the air, though most of the time you'll probably just rely on your burly purple Pikmin to squish them down. It works exceptionally well on Bulborbs, too. Sneak up on them when they're sleeping and wail on them with a barrage of purple guys. But how exactly do you handle these guys in Pikmin 1 where you don't have purple Pikmin? I mean, it's so easy just to mess up and get a chunk of your army eaten. Let me introduce you to a little technique for removing bulb orbs from the battlefield. Make sure you have a pretty sizable army, preferably over 50, uh, 70 is about a good number to have. Carefully make your way around to the back side of the bulb orb and guide your entire army right up his ass. BOOM! Did you see how fast that health meter depleted? That's because the bulb orb's ass is the most helpful ass in all of Pikmin. 
There's nothing that'll take one out faster. Number five. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Whose ass? Everyone's ass. You can't kick ass if there's no ass to kick after all. In Duke Nukem, the one thing just as useful as a gun is Duke's boot. And what better place to shove it than right up some ugly alien butt. Number four. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Nightjarad, where's the butts in Shovel Knight? I don't see any butts. There's no butts. Well, yeah, one might not even know about the butts in Shovel Knight. That is until you learn about the ever so holy butt mode code. All you gotta do is start a new file and enter X and butt as your file name. Soon after starting the game, you'll notice that something is amiss. Several nouns in the game are suddenly replaced with the word butt. What kind of cheat is this? I'll tell you what kind. The best kind. I've been waiting for a stupid code like this my whole life. The word shovel and the word knight are both replaced with butt, so shovel knight is now butt butt. That means we also got king butt, specter butt, plague butt. Just imagine this holy knight comes down to strike down the evil corrupt king, and his final words to him before taking him out is, prepare to taste justice, but justice. Number three. Metal Gear Solid's got a lot of asses, especially in Metal Gear Solid 4. Just check out those sexy glutes. Poopy asses, too. How many games let you watch a guy shit himself in real time? So this is the part of the video people usually talk about the whole Merrill's ass thing. And I'm here to tell you that it's not that amazing of a thing. Yeah, ha ha, you look at her ass to find out it's not a guard, but her in disguise, ooh, the game, her butt's a game mechanic, yeah. But really, you can just easily distinguish that just by looking at the way she's walking rather than having to actually look at her butt. In fact, considering the stealthy nature of the game, it's honestly really difficult to get a good look without getting caught. I'm here to talk about the real most helpful ass in Metal Gear Solid, and for that, we look to Peace Walker. In Peace Walker, you're mostly going to be using the tranquilizer gun to knock out your enemies, but sometimes they're wearing a helmet, and this makes it a lot harder to get a good shot without wasting ammo or getting caught. Look no further than a couple of feet downwards. That's right, don't shoot them in the head, shoot them in the ass. A good shot right between the cheeks in Peace Walker has the exact same effect as a headshot. It'll take any enemy out instantly, regardless of type, strength, or class. And don't forget that we're talking about the greatest soldier in the world, Big Boss, who does this. That means that I'm being 100% legit when I say that a common strategy used by the greatest American soldier ever is to shoot a guy in the ass. <laughs> Next time you're out on a stealth mission, don't aim for the head. Aim for the ass. Number two. In this ever-changing world of technology, we're constantly playing video games in different ways. It started out with our hands, gripping the controller firmly as we mash buttons and move sticks, offering us global control over our video game. Then these fat cats came along with their motion control tech, claiming that we are the controller. In this world, we manipulate the games we play with movement of all of our body parts rather than just our hands. This might strike a lot of people as some fancy technology, but to me, it's a load of crap. Who gives a shit about all of this when in the glorious year of 2008, Ubisoft Paris discovered a way to play a video game with your ass? Including the first ever video game you can play with your butt! Yeah, you heard the guy right. Rayman Raving Rabbit's TV Party is possibly the first video game in history you can actually play with your ass. And it's all thanks to this thing, this wonderful, nearly useless piece of plastic. I'm sure moms worldwide love the thing, but for the average person that plays video games, you're likely not ever gonna need this thing. Unless you happen to be playing this piece of trash right here. In Rayman Raving Rabbit's TV Party, there are certain minigames you can actually play 
with your butt. Just sit down on the balance board and voila, you're now playing the game the exact way the developers intended. Now, the game might not even be that great. In fact, I kind of despise the rabbits for ruining Rayman. Well, at least until its glorious return in 2011, but the very fact that you can play a video game without using anything but your ass deserved a high spot on this list. Okay, yeah, I know, this seems completely outrageous, but hear me out on this. Mario's ass is one of the best asses in all of video games. Why is that? Okay, let me explain. You might not even realize it, but this guy's plumber's crack has seen so much torment. But that torment is life-saving. Ever wonder how every time Mario dives headfirst into a pool of lava, he escapes with only a flaming butt? That's because Mario's ass is chemically engineered to absorb all temperature-related harm. But why would Mario do that to his ass? Because it's the only part of his body that can take that kind of damage. The thing must be made out of titanium because it packs a crazy hard punch. So hard it can drive wooden poles right into the ground. Have you ever tried that, putting a wooden pole into the ground? Yeah, it's not happening. But for Mario's ass, it's a task all too easy. This thing is all kinds of invincible, considering the abuse it takes. How many times has Mario used his ass to slide down a slope, or smashed open concrete? Out of all of the asses on this list, I guarantee you, this is probably the one that you've used the most. Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. Hey, do you guys know of any asses that are also helpful or wacky or fun? Let me know down in the comments section below. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed the video and to subscribe if you want to see more Nitro Ride content in the future. So I guess I'll see you guys later on. Thanks for watching, have yourselves a great night, and take care. Make us feel more emotions than just... You know? So I'm not... <laughs> what was that? I'm the... Um... No. Huh. <laughs>